At Beijing's Victory Parade, one aircraft stole the spotlight, the YY-20 aerial refueling jet. In just a few years, China has transformed from almost no tanker capability to fielding its first indigenous fleet. This breakthrough allows J-20 stealth fighters, J-16 jets, and H-6 aircraft to fly farther and stay airborne longer, marking a turning point in endurance, reach, and the future of aviation operations. The YY-20's first major showcase came at the September 3rd Victory Parade in Beijing, commemorating the end of World War II. Flying alongside Y-20 strategic transports, the new tanker refueled J-20 stealth fighters, J-16 multi-role jets, and H-6 bombers in a carefully choreographed demonstration. This wasn't just a ceremonial flyover. It was the most public confirmation yet that China has fully embraced large-scale aerial refueling operations. For a country that only three years ago had a negligible tanker fleet, the leap is extraordinary. Before the YY-20, China's aerial refueling capacity was minimal. The People's Liberation Army Air Force operated just three IL-78M tankers, alongside a small number of converted H-6 bombers fitted with hose and drogue systems. These platforms were limited in both numbers and capability. The IL-78s were decades old, and the modified H-6S carried little transferable fuel compared to dedicated tankers. As a result, China's long-range air operations were restricted, even as its fleet of advanced fighters and bombers expanded. What makes the YY-20 particularly significant is the speed of its integration. The aircraft entered combat readiness training only in late 2022. Within a short time, it became a fixture in major exercises and now features prominently in national celebrations. A YY-20 refueled two H-6 bombers in flight during a public drill, the first widely observed example of such a mission. By September, the Victory Parade confirmed this capability was no longer experimental. It had entered routine service. The YY-20 also benefits from China's move toward greater engine independence. While early variants use imported engines, the latest version, the YY-20B, is powered by the WS-20 I-Bypass turbofan. This domestically produced engine offers improved efficiency, longer endurance, and the ability to support heavier payloads. With the WS-20 ready for operational use as of 2023, its integration ensures the tanker fleet can perform at higher standards for longer missions. This operational leap represents more than new technology. It signals the normalization of aerial refueling in China's aviation doctrine. The YY-20's true impact lies in what it enables. Aircraft are limited not just by their onboard fuel, but also by how far they can go before turning back. Without tankers, even the most advanced fighters must operate close to home bases or friendly airfields. With tankers, the map expands. This is why the YY-20 matters. It effectively redraws the boundaries of where Chinese aircraft can operate. Take the J-20 stealth fighter. Analysts estimate it already has a significantly greater range than its U.S. counterpart, the F-35. When paired with aerial refueling, its endurance grows exponentially. Instead of operating only within coastal zones, J-20S can now reach far into the Pacific beyond the so-called second island chain. This gives them greater flexibility for extended patrols, training missions, and international exercises, enhancing their credibility as long-range assets. Aerial refueling also benefits support aircraft. Airborne Early Warning System and the soon to enter service KJ-3000 can now maintain longer on-station times. For command, surveillance, and electronic warfare roles, Persistence is often more valuable than raw speed. A tanker-supported network of these assets ensures wider coverage and uninterrupted situational awareness, both of which are crucial for modern operations. What makes this transformation so striking is the speed at which it has occurred. In just a few years, China has gone from minimal tanker capacity to integrating a domestically developed platform into large-scale exercises. This mirrors patterns seen in other areas of Chinese aviation. Symbolism also matters here. The Victory Parade didn't just feature the YY-20. It showed it in action, publicly refueling three classes of aircraft. This imagery underscored a shift in doctrine. 
Aerial refueling is no longer a specialized option. It is becoming a core part of China's air power strategy. The ability to demonstrate it confidently signals not just technological maturity, but also organizational readiness to use it routinely. By expanding the range and persistence of fighters, bombers, and support aircraft, the YY-20 enhances operational flexibility. Missions can now be planned without being limited by the location of the nearest base. This development represents a move away from regional dependence and towards sustained, long-distance operations. The message is clear. China's Air Force is preparing to act with greater autonomy, further from home, and with longer endurance. Looking ahead, the YY-20 is not an endpoint but the beginning of a new phase in China's air power evolution. Its growing fleet and expanding variants point toward a future where aerial refueling is deeply embedded into every major mission profile. The most immediate step in this trajectory is the mass production of the YY-20B. Powered by WS-20 engines, this variant provides enhanced fuel efficiency and higher payload capacity. Efficiency is key for tankers. Every kilogram saved in fuel consumption translates into more transferable fuel for receivers. Additional insight from the article. The YY-20's importance is magnified by the fact that it currently represents China's only indigenous long-range aerial refueling aircraft. Its service entry in considerable numbers and visible presence at exercises mark one of the most dramatic shifts in Chinese fixed-wing aviation in the past six years, underscoring just how rapidly China has closed the gap in tanker capability. The Y-20 platform is also diversifying. Beyond tankers, it is spawning the KJ-3000 airborne early warning aircraft, electronic warfare variants, and potentially even command and control or strategic transport configurations. This common airframe strategy simplifies logistics, training, and maintenance, making the entire family more sustainable. With aerial refueling built into the ecosystem, every platform benefits. Integration into doctrine is equally important. Tankers are not just hardware. They require new methods of planning, coordination, and training. Recent exercises, where YY-20S refueled bombers and fighters in complex formations, show that this integration is well underway. Future scenarios may involve simultaneous refueling of different aircraft types, enabling larger and more flexible mission packages. The broader implication is that China is normalizing expeditionary air power. Instead of being limited to regional defense, its air force is now building the infrastructure to sustain operations at a distance. This doesn't mean projecting power globally overnight, but it does suggest a steady shift toward extended endurance and reach. The YY-20, therefore, represents both a technological milestone and a doctrinal evolution. It demonstrates how quickly a capability gap can be closed and turned into an advantage. With continued production, new variants, and integration into everyday planning. The tanker is becoming a cornerstone of modern Chinese air power. The YY-20 is more than just another large aircraft. It's a symbol of transformation. By extending the reach of fighters, bombers, and support platforms, it redefines what China's air force can accomplish. In less than a decade, a glaring weakness has been turned into a growing strength, reshaping the map of what is possible in the skies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.